In today's video, I'm going to show you the best text effects to use in your next edit. These effects are super easy to do and requires zero plugins. So first, let's start off with this typewriter effect. Go to the horizontal type tool and type out any text. I'm going to put my text in the middle by using the align tool. Click on your text layer and, and search up typewriter. Now, if we play the clip, we can see that it's doing the typewriter effect, but we can change everything to our liking by pressing U on the keyboard. And if you wanted to go quicker, we can click on this last keyframe and drag it towards the beginning so it could be quicker. Now add in a typewriter sound effect and you have yourself a cool effect. Next, we're going to learn this trendy Apple text effect. This text effect is super easy to do. So first we're going to click on this drop down for our text layer and we're going to click on the animate button, click on position. Click on animate again, and we're going to click on opacity. First and foremost, we're going to make sure our opacity is all the way down to zero and our position on the right side is 100. Next, we're going to click the drop down for range selector one. We're going to click on the drop down for advanced. And we're going to put the ease low to 100% and the ease high to minus 50. And then change the shape to ramp up. And we're going to change the based on to words. And to get that animation, we're going to click on the stopwatch for offset. Make sure we're at the beginning. And we're going to change the offset percentage to minus 100. Next, go up a little bit in the timeline. And we're going to move this offset percentage back up to 100. And we can even easy ease everything by highlighting all the keyframes and pressing F9 on the keyboard. And then we should have a smooth apple text effect next on the list is the stop motion text and how to do this is we're going to click on our layer we're going to add in turbulence displace and we're going to click on the evolution options drop down we're going to hold alt and click on the random seed and now type out time and then click the little star on your keyboard it's where the number eight is and i'm going to put in nine so if we go ahead and play that we can see it looks kind of wonky and to change that we can change the size size and the amount and like that we already have something cool now let's get into the scribble text click on your text layer and go to layer and click on auto trace now we don't have to touch anything here click on ok now we're gonna hide our original text layer by clicking on the little eyeball click on the auto trace text layer now we're gonna apply the scribble effect for the first setting we're gonna click on single mask and change it to all masks and the fill type we could change it to any one of these to get different looks and there's a whole bunch of different options to change the effect like we can change the stroke width the spacing but i'm gonna leave everything as it was but now to get that animation we're gonna change the start percentage to 100 click on the stopwatch for start move up a couple frames and then change the percentage to zero and if we press u on the keyboard we can see the frames that we changed i'm gonna go all the way down and again we can move the keyframe out more to get that nice and slow scribble text if you guys want to become a super cool editor like me check out my website and I have a whole bunch of free stuff on there that will deeply improve your edits. Take care.